Hi, everybody. I'm John Smith, general partner with Innosphere Ventures, leading the B2B software practice. I have over 30 years experience founding and building software businesses, taking them from scratch to over $100 million in annual revenue. Now I'm a venture capitalist, ready to guide you on your journey, helping you build your successful B2B SaaS business. This video is part of my Building a Successful SaaS Business 10-part series. Today's topic is financials. On the InnosphereFund.com website, I have a downloadable version of the complete Building a Successful SaaS Business presentation that covers all 10 topics in the video series. And I have sprinkled in over 40 hyperlinks of thought-leading articles providing much more detail on these concepts. So I encourage you to download the presentation. All right, well, what does a five-year financial model look like for a successful SaaS company? Here is an illustrative example of a five-year pro forma income statement for a fictitious SaaS company we'll call Nuco. As you can see, there is no miracle occurring in year four or year five with a big hockey stick ramp up in revenue. That can happen, but it's unusual, so let's not plan for it. What is more normal is a steady increase in revenue year over year. So we start year one when NUCO is ready to earn revenue. There has been a lot of work prior to this point, isolating a target market niche and establishing product market fit. This example shows how a successful SaaS company can expect to ramp revenue over a five-year period. The revenue in this example consists of subscription software revenue and consulting services. Here we have a $6,000 annual average contract value ramping up to $7,000 and a customer count ramping from 48 in year one to a little under 1800 in year five. The COGS shows a breakdown of the key areas including hosting expenses, a portion of customer success expenses for supporting customers, DevOps, and consulting service expenses if you have them in your business model. The model shows how you want to drive to a gross margin of around 77% as your revenue grows. You will need an investment in sales and marketing as well as product development in the early years to get the revenue to ramp. The operating expenses for each of the three areas will improve as a percentage of revenue as the company reaches breakeven and becomes profitable. In this example, operating expenses start at 146% of revenue in year one and become 54% of revenue in year five. You should expect your net income to run at a loss for the few, first few years while you're building your customer count and the associated revenue. This example shows the business reaching break even in year four, so it will need three rounds of financing, a pre-seed investment, a $1.5 million seed series round, and a $3 million series A round to reach profitability. The model shows total headcount growing from five people to 118 people, including your employees, independent contractors, and the staff associated with outsourced partners in year five. The SaaS metric values in year five are very healthy with ARR growth at 121%. GREM is at 144%. The churn's at 5%. So NUCO would be well on a path to becoming a $100 million business in the coming years. So there you have it, an overview of the financials for a SaaS business and what success looks like. Go to the InnosphereFund.com website and download the Building a Successful SaaS Business presentation so you can go deeper into the concepts I've covered in the video series, including the hyperlinks and extra slides. Once you've established a product market fit for your business and are ready for seed funding, reach out to Innosphere Ventures and let's see if we can be your partner helping guide you along your journey to success.